to get my water because it is hot boy huh okay so I'm home it's later I, I got some editing done I'm about to go back in a second but I wanted to show you guys what I got from Ulta this go around this is not that much but This is not that much but it is stuff that i needed i have been lacking 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 on my skincare so i finally picked up some stuff and i am super excited about it um one thing that i will say is all the stuff that i got is really affordable and i would recommend this to anybody that needs or wants to have a lot of options for skincare, but you know, doesn't want to spend that much. So I'll show you guys what I got and I will tell you the cost as well. The first thing I got is I got La Roche Posay. This is hydrating gentle cleanser. So this is kind of similar to the CeraVe hydrating cleanser, but I wanted to switch it up and I've tried this before. I really like it. This wasn't more than 20 bucks and it's gonna last me a while, so there's that. And then I got, I actually saw this on TikTok. I saw this girl using this on her underarms to lighten her skin on her underarms. I'm not gonna be using it for that. I'm gonna use it for my face because she said that it also works for the face, but this is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toning Solution. And um, I guess this is a toner. So I'm gonna use it as such, yeah. After cleansing, just sweep it on your face with a cotton pad. So I'm excited about this, and I feel like this is going to work well. So I'm super excited about it. Now, this next thing is like a holy grail item for me. I can't live without this in my skincare routine. Like, this is the Ordinary Alpha Arbutin plus Hyaluronic Acid. So, this will clear your skin up. <laughs> As you can see, I have a bunch of pimples on my face. And that is because I have not had this. <laughs> I haven't had this. So, my skin is missing this. But this is also really great. This is like 10 bucks very affordable and I love it so that's that and I wanted to get another serum so I thought that I would try out good molecules niacinamide serum um I have tried their retinol before um and I do like it and I also like that they have this ingredient list on the side they call it a uh, nothing to hide ingredient list so they tell you everything that's in it on the side this is straight up niacinamide serum um you can use it pretty much any anywhere anytime in your routine day and night so i'm gonna use this with the alpha arbutin i'll probably i'll probably i'll either use just alpha arbutin day and night as my serum and then the next day i'll use this or i'll do one in the morning one at night i haven't decided yet but i think i want to probably just alternate between days with this and that because both of these both of these can be used morning and night. So it's always loud. I have the window open because it's so hot. It's so hot. I didn't even open the window. My boyfriend opened the window and he loves opening windows. But yeah, I'm going to play around with these. I'm super excited about it. And the last thing that I got is my good old reliable CeraVe moisturizing cream with the pump 
because we use this all day, every day. This is my moisturizer. I like to buy other moisturizers to like switch up in my routine. Um, but this is kind of something that I always like to keep on hand because it is what I use the most. But this is gonna last you forever. This is a good thing to have on hand just to use every day. But yeah, so that is what I got my Ulta package thank god I can restock my skincare shelf because my skin was very upset with me <laughs> so yeah I got all that stuff super excited um yeah so I'm gonna go back to editing and I'm really hoping that I can make it to the gym today because it is so hot like i don't see myself going back out there again it's mad hot but you know i'm gonna do my best i really need to get down on this editing on this video because i need this vlog to go up my dc travel vlog hopefully by the time you're watching this that video is up it needs to be because if it's not that's a shame <laughs> because i started recording another vlog before the other vlog was even done but you know we got to figure it out. We got to schedule and get all that done. But yeah, let me get back to it and I will see you guys a little bit later. Hold your applause. Hold your applause. I'm going to the gym. be fighting for my life with this fucking camera thing in my car like it is not good I need to get a new one I saw this girl I saw this girl post one and she said it like sticks everywhere so I might need that shit but anyways um I just finished getting gas $30 got me a little bit over six gallons of gas gas is too fucking expensive um and I'm about to go to Trader Joe's so um yeah i didn't even say hi hi guys because <laughs> this phone thing is stressful like od taking care of stuff i got my um my fake apple pencil came in the mail today so i'm excited about that i'm gonna start doing the digital planning like i said so i'm actually gonna look for some like products um i'm annoyed because i bought like a planner thing from etsy and 
I just got the same like planner page for free and I'm a little bit confused as to how someone could sell something that someone is giving away for free I don't know I think this is just like some basic planner page but got the pencil tried it out it works super excited about that um so yeah now I'm about to go to Trader Joe's and get my life shopping freezer before it didn't really work out like that but it's cool it's cool i was able to get these these are the best they're the best got some pineapple tidbits i actually might go make a smoothie some pineapple bits got some chicken so making some chicken this week and I got a Caesar salad, so I'm gonna eat that actually now. For lunch, got some of the best hummus ever. Lunch on jalapeno, and I got some pita chips to go with it. What else? Lobster ravioli. Yeah, enough said. And then I got some watermelon chunks. I'm gonna just make like pineapple and watermelon smoothie with ginger I also got ginger too then I got organic green tea and lemonade mixed nice bev miso ginger broth I still have some of these mini chicken wontons left over I have another bag in the freezer also so this with that is really good too I might eat that instead of the salad because i need to get rid of these wontons get the salad tomorrow. Mm, it's possible it's possible i got some spinach spinach tortellini and be able to make an easy meal with that this little thing from trader joe's is so good it's cod provencal and it has like a ratatouille with some rice on it this is only 370 calories for this whole thing and it's filling it's nice i like it then i got these little potatoes I'm gonna eat these with some chicken later on my right, next week on the weekend favorite favorite thing from trader joe's baby's zucchini love these also had to read up on the mandarin orange chicken i made this this week already but i had to get another bag because it is good to have on hand you don't really feel like cooking but you want something good that goes right in the freezer lemon elderflower soda so never tried this before i just wanted to get some different sodas so i'm gonna actually open this oh they're very little they're little guys so. also got flowers they didn't have a lot of peonies, but I did find a decent batch. So hopefully these open up really nice. I'm going to put them in a vase with some baby's breath. So I think that's going to be really nice. And then I also got, oh, not the petal coming off. I also got these. They're called country roses. So... I don't know why, 
or like what's the reason um but yeah they're really pretty i like the way that they open up they're fat i like that <laughs> So yeah, I gotta get my flowers in order. And then my friend suggested that I try this from Trader Joe's. This is like a Prosecco peach kind of thing. It's only 5.5% alcohol. I don't think they can sell anything crazy in Trader Joe's like that. Um, they can only sell wine at one Trader Joe's, the one in Union Square, which I really love going there. But like, it's so far and it's so annoying because every time you go, you just pick up like, eight bottles of wine and it's really cheap but then you have to carry home eight bottles of wine and before i was driving that was not ideal for me but yeah this is like a peach flavored thing i'm gonna try this one day and then i also got the goat tangerine juice this shit so good it's orange juice like but just a little bit more just a little bit more and I also got some matcha powder because I've been going to the store and getting matcha ever since I discovered putting vanilla syrup and chai syrup in matcha. It tastes good to me now. It doesn't taste like dirt anymore. Um, so I'm gonna try to make my own. I'm gonna try to make my own. So save some money. It's only five bucks. So a tall matcha with one syrup pump is six dollars why so yeah let me um finish putting all this stuff up clean this up and then i want to clean up a little bit more and then make some lunch edit because we going to the gym at four it might be a 4 30 4 30 thing but I'm trying to make it four so and finish cleaning and yeah I will talk to you guys later. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. So I took the miso ginger broth, like I said, and I put it in with the wontons. I like these wontons because they're only 50 calories for four. So I cook 12 and I get uh, 150. The broth is only 10 calories, so it's a pretty low calorie thing. Now I'm going to put some chili onion crunch on it, which this is actually high, but I'll put half a teaspoon. And I'm also going to put some habanero hot sauce because I like hot shit. But yeah, that's my lunch and I'm about to can eat this and continue cleaning. So, yeah. I wanted you guys to see how the flowers turned out. This one's opening. This one needs to open. Open, girl. Should I put it in the sun? I'm going to the gym. Bro, the way I was about to skip this shit, I was literally planning like how to skip, but we not skipping. We going. So let's go.
just got home. Had to go pick up some checks and I was supposed to go self shoot, but I didn't because I got too late. This is the time that you need to self shoot, like an hour before sunset, but I missed it. So now I'm at home and I'm about to eat some sushi and watch a drag race. Definitely, definitely doing that. But yeah, that's really it. I'm about to chill because I'm not doing that anymore. I actually have editing to do. I have flyers to make and stuff like that. So that is what the rest of my night is going to consist of. But I wanted to check in with y'all. And uh, I'm going to show you my sushi. Hold on. They definitely gave me two sets of chopsticks because I got enough sushi for two people, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, got my spicy crunchy scallop roll, which is like my favorite roll ever. And I got spicy tuna and Cali roll. So I'm about to go in on this. What's up, guys? I'm on my mental health walk, my Saturday mental health walk that I planned. So it's about 3.30. I'm trying to get some steps in before I gotta get ready to go DJ. I'm DJing at Ode to Babel at six. So just getting some steps in, getting some vitamin D. So I actually attempted to make the matcha that I got from Trader Joe's. And it came out okay, but it didn't taste like the Trader Joe's one because I didn't have chai syrup. So I got the stuff to make chai syrup tomorrow. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to try again. But let me go enjoy my walk and I'll see you guys later. Never make you feel like 